engaging the community and helping improve the city of Delano. That was the purpose of this evening's community meeting, to get input on how to use grant money. 23ABC's Mythley Gooby has a recap of the meeting and more on what residents hope to see. Delano residents gathered here at the Ellington Community Center to interact with city staff and officials and share improvements that they hope to see in their community. I'm concerned about my community and so I do come to these meetings. Thursday evening's meeting was to get public input on where people wanted to see federal dollars being spent to improve local neighborhoods. So it was great to see so many of our residents engage and come out and tell us, hey, this is where our priorities lay. This is where we want to spend the money. The city hasn't received this year's grant amount yet, but based on previous years, the estimate is getting close to $600,000. Now, most of that money is all already allocated to different administrative uses, loan repayment, and to help fund the city's domestic violence shelter. But officials do expect that about $200,000 will be left over to help address residents' needs, and they have a say in that. Being involved in where the money is going and our infrastructure, our, our city is over 100 years old, and the pipes are disintegrating, and there's uh, pesticides and a lot of things that we're dealing with in our city. Many of the suggestions were about making making sidewalks and curbsides safer for pedestrians, funding anti-gang programs, improving street drains to avoid flooding when it rains, increasing lighting in neighborhoods, adding stop signs or speed bumps to busy intersections, and improving alleyways, among others. Delano Council Member Salvador Solorio Ruiz says forums like these help facilitate brainstorming sessions to make real change. Everyone has concerns or an opinion or an input that they want, but it's always about well, where exactly do they do they vocalize their opinion? And I think this was a great opportunity for them to do that. Another big push was to help make the city stronger and safer by creating youth and senior programs and making Delano a more vibrant place. People from different ages can engage with each other and interact, and that's what community is all about. If you'd like to share your feedback as well, the city is hosting another public workshop on May 3rd in Delano. I'm my legal B 23 ABC connecting you. Elsewhere an update on the homicide.